guys. Uh, what's up? So, uh, Sarah here with Fisher Price Ranch. Uh, first off, make sure you hit that subscription button down below and notification bell for when we have updates on new videos. Um, so today I thought I would go over, um, kind of what to look for when you're purchasing a new goat, um, how to see if they're healthy. Um, so I purchased two goats. We are getting ready to do our goat roundup where we gather all the goats up. We're going to check their weight, height, their famacha, which is the color of their eyelid to see if they have worms. We're going to trim feet if needed, give them copper, and we're going to draw blood to test for disease. So these goats are on the list. It's all going to happen tomorrow. I will try and post a video of that. But first off, both of these goats um, are completely different. They're actually a different breed, um, but their health is different as well. One of them was kind of a, a rescue situation. And so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to teach you what to look for and the difference between them. So let me get a hold of them and we'll get started. All right, so first off, we got this doe. Um, this is Marsala. Now, she is half alpine, half sonnen. And uh, first off, she has an old injury, I guess, to her leg. And on occasion, see, she lifts it up. It, it is still sore for her. She was checked out by a vet, and they said it's an old injury. Not much we can do about it. So she'll just kind of, certain days, she's going to hurt a little bit more than others. All right, so... Um, this is the sickly doe. Now, she was part of the rescue situation. Now, she looks good from a distance, but when you look a little closer, um, if you look at her, her neck there, she's, she's very thin. Um, if you look around her eyes, here, look at me. Easy girl. Hey. Um, you could see that her skin is actually hanging, like on her eyes, you could just see, if she'll look at me, she's real hollow around her eyes, pretty much. Um, and, uh, so then if you look back here, um, you know, well, it's hard to see because of her hair, but she is pretty thin. You can see, there you go. And, uh, they said she was pregnant and due in two weeks. Now that is definitely not true unless she's very good at hiding it. So I'll show you a little bit more on that, but you could see in her neck how she, how thin she is. So, um, so we definitely need to get some groceries in her. So first we're going to check the uh, famacha, which is the color of her eyelid. And the way we do that is you're just going to cover her eyeball just slightly with her eyelid and just, just the tiniest amount of pressure and then you pull down that lower eyelid and then the skin next to the actual eyeball, not on the outer eyelid, um, it kind of pops out a little bit and that's what you want to look for for color. So I'm going to see if I can get this done. With just me. Let me fix my camera here and we'll see if we can get her to look down and see if we can get her eye color. So you're just going to cover that eyelid and pull that down. And if you could see, hey, relax, it's okay. Relax. I know her eyelashes are probably in the way, but she's not very, I wish I could do this better. She's not very um, bright in her color, which usually is a sign that she has worms. Come here, stop. You can see she's not very dark red. So um, so she definitely probably has worms, um, so we can always run a fecal on her. And uh, But we're going to give her a copper bolus pill, and copper actually helps the goats fight worms. So we're definitely going to give her one of those, four grams, and hopefully that will help her fight the worms as well. Um, so another thing that you could tell when they're actually copper deficient is actually if you look at her hair, it looks really dead. It looks like, just like, I don't know, really dead old hair. It looks like an old broom. Uh, it should not look like that. It should be nice and smooth and feel really soft so she definitely really needs copper another sign is the tail easy girl you're okay and uh relax will you stop but another sign is her tail stop stop and oh my goodness she's gonna fight me come on let's push you up against the tree here 
Okay. Relax, relax, relax. Hey. Uh, come on. Goodness. Stay right there, up against the tree. You're going to let me touch your tail whether you like it or not. <laughs> All right. So you could just see it just, it's really dead looking. And uh, sometimes they'll lose all the hair on their tail. So another thing that I noticed is, relax, relax, relax. See all that stuff on her tail? Oh my gosh, she's going to get me all frustrated. Come here. I want to look at your tail. There we go. Okay, now see all that chunky stuff on her tail? So that to me does not look like diarrhea. And she has pellets right now. So to me, that would be a sign that she may have had a miscarriage. And I've had goats that were copper deficient and they miscarried. So copper is very needed in their diet. So that's why we give copper bolus. Sorry, I'm winded. <laughs> she fought me good. Um, you can see how thin she is in her neck, this poor girl. She probably needs to gain a good 20, 30 pounds. But, uh, so anyway, she really, really needs copper, and that's going to help quite a bit with her health. And, uh, for her being supposedly due in two weeks, she's mad because I messed with her tail. Now she won't let me see her rear end. But she would have an udder, and you can see she doesn't. You can tell she's had kids before. So anyway, that's kind of what's going on with her, and... She definitely needs some attention. So we're hoping um, that she comes back negative for disease. I don't know her story, really. Um, so it's all kind of guessing at this point. So anyway, that's what's going on with her. Obviously, if her tests come back positive for any disease, we will just put her down. Um, so I really hope that she comes back clean because I really like the quality of her. You can definitely see the quality. She just needs to be healthy. So let me get a hold of the other doe and then we'll come back. All right, so this is the second doe that I purchased. Now she is a different breed, so it, they're going to be slightly different anyway. But easy girl. She's a little bit wild. You're okay. You can see how nice and smooth her coat is. That's what it should look like. So she's really good as far as copper goes. And then her color. Easy. See, she's, I know I didn't get a very good video of the other one, but this one looks pretty good. I'd say she's probably a two. So she looks pretty good as far as her famacha goes. Um, she looks a little thin, um, but she they're a little stressed because we traveled from out of state. So that's kind of normal. But if you look at her, she looks very... She's got lots of meat on her bones. She's not skinny. She looks really healthy. So um, she looks really good. Uh, this So I always ask if any of the goats have had vaccinations because then I know... Um, kind of what might be going on. So she did have one when she was a baby and he showed it to me and occasionally vaccinations will cause a lump. So that's what this one is. And uh, most lumps you don't have to worry about unless it's CL, which is a disease, but there's only, <sighs> the roosters are being loud. Um, so the disease though is only in specific spots on the body. And so, um, this is not one of those spots, so I'm not worried about it. And he did warn me that she did have that from a vaccination. Um, now this goat, um, we're also, well, we're going to disease test all of our goats. So she's going to stay in quarantine until we get the blood test back. But, um, she really doesn't need a whole lot of maintenance. So, because she looks really good. Uh, we will copper her because I don't know, they, they've never coppered her, but they were in a different state and the copper is a little different over there. So, um, but her famancha looks good. She doesn't look like she really needs anything special. Um, so we'll just do regular, hold on girl, don't knock me over, regular maintenance on her. Now she weaned kids, um, I'm not sure if he, 
the old owner, he told me six months ago, so I'm not sure if she had kids six months ago and they were weaned three months ago, or if she had kids nine months ago and they were weaned six months ago. Will you leave her alone? You're being mean. But uh, she came actually milk tested and she came back with high protein and so she'll be actually a really good cheese maker. And uh, so if you look at her udder, so she hasn't had kids on her for at least three to six months, but she still has milk in her. So that's great. She's going to be a really great milker. She probably throws some large, large kids. So I'm very excited about this dough. And she looks overall very healthy. Um, another thing that I did notice on her, relax, you're okay, is her cashmere. Now, if you guys can see that, this real soft, fuzzy hair, that's her cashmere. And she's going to start shedding that hair pretty soon. So hers, oh man, it's so soft. If you guys could only feel it. So I'm very excited. We'll be uh, definitely collecting her cashmere and having uh, it sent off to be spinned. Hey, don't hit my phone. She's a little stressed out. We're going to keep her tied up for a minute because I'm going to go ahead and do these two goats um, for their our goat roundup. I won't film that, but we'll definitely do it on the rest of the goats. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of the difference in what to look for when purchasing a new goat. Uh, a couple other things that I look for is one by one teats. I don't want any kickers like we had with s'mores and then we had that issue with her throwing extra teats on her kids. So definitely these two are one by one teats so that's good. Um, and uh, so anyway so that's kind of the difference in what I look for. This poor girl needs a lot of help but uh, we'll get there. So all right, well, I hope this video was helpful for you guys whenever you do go and purchase a new goat, uh, kind of what to look for as far as health and quality. Um, so our next video, though, definitely keep an eye out for it. It's our goat roundup, and this is what we do every six months on our goats and what we look for, how we treat them um, as far as, like, I know they're going to be low on copper because we do it every six months. Uh, we're going to do the feet, uh, what we look for in that, if they need trimmed or not. If they only need a little bit, we usually leave it and it naturally chips away like it should. We only do what's absolutely necessary for our goats. So we will see you guys next time and make sure to hit that subscription button.